On this edition of Street Kung Fu, we're gonna teach you a takedown coming from a Tanzao combination. Stick around. What's going on, YouTube fam? This is Seafood Jimmy Man Freddy here coming at you once again for Street Kung Fu with my assistant as always, Isaac Jones. And today we're going to teach you a tonsil combination that's going to end with a nice takedown. All right, it's going to be nice and simple, not too complex, but still yet effective and devastating. All right, so it's going to look a little something like this, nice and slow. We're going to go one, two, tonsil and a kick. Okay, he's going to throw a hook after this, and that's going to be a busau with a chop or fox out, okay? From here, I'm actually gonna push his face away as I take his left hand with a lopsaw, grasping hand, and whip it under my body as I turn his face and then yank him down to the ground. All right? So again, it's gonna be tan sao chai ger, bu sao fox sao, and then push, whip, down, okay? Again, one, two, three, four. All right, now I'm helping him down so he doesn't slam on the ground. When we practice this, you know, in more of a classroom environment, I'll actually put a crash mat below him and I will yank him down so he can feel what it is to get yanked, as well as when he's doing the yanking, he'll be yanking nice and hard, okay? And his partner won't get hurt. Break your partner, you don't have one to play with, all right? So we're gonna break it down again, nice and slow. He's gonna punch with a right cross or even a jab, whatever, you know, whatever foot's forward at the time, all right? And then you're gonna tons out right down the center line, okay? That'll deviate the punch, take it way off course. At the same time, you're kicking his knee or thigh, all right, I tend to kick right above the knee, that way his leg kicks out, okay? As I step down as he's swinging, just in case that knee doesn't kick out, or even if he re-centers and steps out to throw it, and he throws that hook, and maybe a desperation hook, I throw a busau out, okay? Now, a tansau goes up the center, like so, okay? Now, although you practice it up the center, it can go off center, as long as you stay structured with it and shift with it, okay? Which is 90% of the time how it's gonna come out. A busau, okay, which is a thrusting hand, it's gonna look like you're chopping out a little further with your elbow down, however. You're not gonna chop out with your elbow pointing up or out. You're gonna go out like that, nice and structured, okay? Don't chase the arm. He swings, you just put it right where it is. Tonsil, put it right there. The moment you see the other one coming, you just roll your hand out, put it there, okay? If you chase the arm and you go out, you know, he might roll around it and pop you in the jaw, all right? So again, tan kick, boom. Chop hits right here, right at the back of the jaw, underneath the ear, nice and hard. That way it turns him, disorients him, all right? Gets him that far. Once this happens, this is gonna happen pretty much almost immediately after. You're gonna hit and then turn immediately and bring them down. Now, what you might not be seeing is what I'm doing with my right hand in that motion, okay? When, turn on this side for me, please. When I'm in this position here, okay, as I push this away, all right, staying in contact the whole time on his face, this hand basically throws it under then it comes in right under his scapula, okay, or his shoulder blade, all right? You get in here and you push in that, so his hip gets compromised as well, going outward that way as you pull his head back, all right? So again, nice and slow, one, two, three, okay? It's a very subtle push and it, does a lot. That subtle push does a lot. Now, if you want to be even rougher, you can. You can be as rough as you want with this. All right, we're doing this in practice, so I'm not trying to break them. All right, so again, one, two, three, four. Okay, 
All right. Now, when you have him in that position, you can do a plethora of things. You can, you know, elbow down. You can put his head on, on your knee and then elbow down. You know, you can. All right. Let me show you another one physically. One, two, three. Bring him down. Boom. He's right there. I can wrench his neck this way. Okay. I can grab this arm again, wrap, and keep going, and then really wrench. And I can put him into a plethora of, you know, grappling techniques. Chin knot techniques, you just do techniques with whatever your forte is. All right, so this is a can opener. All right, uh, when I train my guys, I tell them, you know, you start with a can opener. Once the can's open, you give them everything else. All right, once he's down like that, I have him in full control. I can give him whatever I want. All right, I can give him elbows, knees. I can slam him to the ground and go straight ghetto stomp on him if I wanted to. All right, so keep in mind, this is for self defense purposes. So if you do do that, understand, you know, there's going to be ramifications after that. All right. If you're, you're sitting there ghetto stomping the guy and, you know, the police arrive and stuff like that, then you got to explain to them how come this guy is so battered and so, so bruised, you know, if you're defending yourself. Now, with that said, you are defending yourself. Personally, I'd rather sit there explaining than being in a hospital wondering what happened. Okay, so that's just me. All right, it, uh, my, my dad used to say, I'd rather be tried by 12 than carried by six. You know. So again, one, two, three, four. Okay, all right, in this angle please, sir. All right, one, two, three, four. All right. So that is a nice combination, very short, very sweet, to the point from the Tan Sao family. All right, starting with the Tan Sao, Tan Sao Chai Ge, all right, which is stomp kick, straight to a Bu Sao, Fox Sao, thrusting hand, whipping hand, all right, Lop Sao, which is grasping, and then te technically inverted Hun Sao by swinging his hand in, pushing out, okay, Gom Sao and then pull back in, folks out, all right? So for those of you with Wing Chun vernacular. <laughs> all right, so in other words, it's a quick, easy technique to get them to the ground and either take off from there or pummel them if you want. It's up to you, the skill is yours now to play with. All right, so with that said, I am Sifu Jimmy Man Freddy. My assistant is always Isaac Jones. Please, let's kick start that algorithm like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and do not forget the 50th, 50th subscriber will get a free Street Kung Fu t-shirt on me, all right? So we're at 214. Once we get to 250, 250 will get the free t-shirt. At 300, they're going to get a free hoodie, all right? Street Kung Fu hoodie. So like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's do it. See you guys later. Have fun. Train safe, train hard, get it done.